Hey guys, Ernest Langdon and Amy Langdon with Langdon Tactical. And today we wanted to introduce you to the reason behind us starting Discover, where we thought the need was from our own personal experiences and why we started this side of the business. So when we got together, one of the things that became kind of obvious was, obviously I had a fair amount of experience with firearms. I was living that tactical life, if you will. And Amy did not have a lot of experience with firearms. And so I wanted to get her out expose her to that and I think she had some desire to be able to protect herself and be more independent in that way if you will so you know we went out started shooting started introducing her to firearms and we ran into some challenges both from you know relationship standpoint interpersonal things and me learning how to teach someone with little or no experience when it came to firearms it had its own challenges I was scared and I was afraid to tell him that I was scared. I don't know why, but I just was. And so we'd go to the range and he'd be like, all right, so this is what you do. And I'd grab the gun and I'd be like, <laughs> now what Now what do I do? I just didn't, it was very intimidating to start. And so it, it took lots of patience. <laughs> it took lots of patience from both of us to really kind of you to grasp all the way down to the basic level, I would say, of what I didn't know or didn't understand. I learned a lot from the you know, kind of verbiage and communication standpoint because there's a lot of things that the firearms and tactical community, there are things that we kind of take for granted or we think that people understand or, or terms and that we use that we just assume people know what we're talking about. And there's a lot of things that need to be explained in more detail and maybe in not so tactical terms that main firearms community is used to. Yeah, that's a really good point. We've had a lot of conversations as we were kind of building this out with very tactical people and they would look at us and say, well, why do you need to do that? And my answer to that was always, well, because Ernest would say, well, if you're going to carry, here's what you have to do. You have to change your wardrobe. You have to change what you wear. You have to change what you do. You have to change how you do this. And everything was about change, which I was absolutely okay with. Change is great. But it was almost like I had to change who I was. I, like, I was being told to change who I was to accommodate this plaid button down shirt and tactical pants with multiple pockets. <laughs> and, and I was like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not, no, that's not me. And so uh, it took time for me to understand it, but moreover for Ernest to understand that, hey, look, this can be approached differently. And this can be approached in a way that is less intimidating to more people. As we were having more and more conversations about what are firearms, what is training, how do we get started, how do we dive into it, the questions that were coming back were shocking both of us because on one hand, you could say that I'd kind of been tactically brainwashed, but on the other hand, I understood it because that's kind of where I was. That's the unknown, if you will, of I'm not sure where we're going with this or I don't know what to do, I don't know where to start, I don't know what a good holster is. And I don't understand the terminology behind why things should be the way they are. It was very confusing. I think as we got deeper into the business and we started working with more people, explaining our business, our brand, where it was, but then also adding in team, we realized more and more that everybody's journey to firearms or why they're in firearms was different. And it was kind of mind blowing for you on some layers because of the newness to firearms. I had to understand that some people just need to be met where they are. We have to find out where they are in their journey and then help them from that point and not necessarily try to jump them all the way over here. Classic example is, you know, what works for me in my hands is not going to work for you. And this is one of our favorite hands, examples. Right? I mean, we have to make decisions or help people with their decisions based on where they are, based on where you are, and not necessarily coming from my background and my experiences, it was very helpful for me to eventually just kind of accept that and realize that and then think about things in a different way. Yeah, I mean, I definitely saw a transition in you and how you thought about it and then talked to new people new to the industry or people that were looking for more information. And, you know, I would always say to you, well, that's not me. And Ernest would be like, well, this is what you need to do. And then I'd be like, well, I don't want to do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'd, I'd almost want to quit or I would quit or I'd get angry because it didn't fit what I was ready to accept really. Right. But more than that, it wasn't me. And I don't have the desire to be a world speed shooting champion or, you know, Mr. Tactical walking around with lots of guns and, you know, tourniquets and all this stuff in, in my belt or on my person. I, you know, a knife and a flashlight and all that stuff. Do I carry those things? Absolutely. Right. I, I have my med kit that I carry. I have a flashlight and I do have a knife and oftentimes I have a firearm, but what it looks like for me is very different than what it looks like for you and getting to that layer of, Hey, that's okay. It's okay for that. It, I mean, would you say it took you a long time to kind of understand that for me? I mean, I know that you would still love me to be. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely, I mean, I came to that realization with you, but I, I, the, I think the important part is understanding that you're not alone in your journey to learn and understand and start to add these things into your life there was a process there for you and you had to go through a journey and a lot of people you know want to go down that journey and helping them down that journey that's really what we're talking about doing here and from a non you know you don't have to be a former military former law enforcement you don't have to fit that mold in order for you to develop yourself and your own skills and your own abilities in your own life where you feel more comfortable and confident day to day. Yeah, the interesting component here is that when we first started talking about this, there was a little bit of pushback of, well, no, that wouldn't make sense. And, you know, you don't have the clout to be having that conversation. And, you know, where's the, where are the layers of certifications? And, you know, you haven't done this. And, and he'd say to me, you've always said you don't want to be a trainer. You don't want to be or whatever. And I don't. I don't want to be a trainer uh, when it comes to firearms, but I have like my journey, my story, the way that the path that I went down in order to be a gun owner and not only be able to talk about guns for work, but also understand them and be able to talk to other people about them has not only increased my confidence in what I know, but it's also increased my confidence in what I don't know. We've talked to a lot of people about this as we've developed it out. And the interesting thing is one of one of the phrases that always came up is, well, I'll never be like you guys. I'll never be like you guys. And it was just the setup and the basis of this is needed. This is what's missing. And there are so many people out there who sit in a layer of fear and emotional distress of, well, can I, should I, could I? And we really want to try to bring together people, groups, information, resources, tools, and efforts, if you will, that can help people build confidence and meet them where they're at and understand that you don't have to have this goal of, you know, shooting a two inch group and a one second draw immediately, right? Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's where you go. Maybe that's where you get, but not everybody has to do that in order to be a responsible firearms owner or concealed carrier. Everybody's got to start somewhere, right? And our desire here is to empower you with the information that you need to start on that journey and be confident that you're making good, educated decisions and developing your own skills to feel confident out in the world, especially today. For me, it's been interesting because I've had to go down a journey uh, that's a little bit unexpected meaning that you know i've taught a lot but mainly really advanced shooters or shooters that are ready to really take their skills to the next level not the person that's really just getting started or even first timers so in teaching you um your parents shelby would be an example that are people that are just starting out i've had to change what i consider you know basic knowns that I just expect people to know because I've forgotten a lot of these things. They're just normal to me. And then learning how to teach those things and realize, yeah, you don't really know what I'm talking about here. You don't understand what I'm trying to explain. Or there are things that I take for granted that are just, you know, that have to actually be taught. And, you know, those are really important for me. It's a very important understanding that I had to develop uh, as an instructor 
and bridging that gap between the beginning shooter to take them down that path. I think the main goal here with Discover is to empower people to find where they are in their journey and build their confidence wherever they are, meet them, and then guide them through that journey, whether you have a firearm or you don't, right? And find that place where you can be more confident so that you are ready just in case. Learn and discover who you can be.